I'm Lieutenant Tracy Kennard, I'm a nurse in the Royal Australian Navy. I'm currently down here at HMS Service in the medical school teaching baby medics as a senior instructor and divisional officer. And I'm Lieutenant Amy York and I'm uh, currently posted to a, a perioperative nurse billet in the PCRF, so the medical deployment team. And I'm down here at HMAS Cerberus working at the hospital whilst I'm not deployed. The uh, previous deployments I've done have all been humanitarian aid. If you actually deploy over to um, Afghanistan or Iraq, one of those, then you're actually providing health care to defence personnel and native people of those countries if needed. I've always been a nurse. When I left school, I've never wanted to do anything else and I've always wanted to be a nurse in the military. It's a love that I've never, that's never left me. So when I had the opportunity, I, I did such. And I've never looked back and never regretted it, never. I was the same, I've always wanted to be a nurse. And mm. it wasn't until um, once I'd actually finished my nursing training that I decided, yeah, I really did want to join the Defence Force and definitely the Navy. I love the lifestyle. Uh, just being able to post every couple of years, doing something a little bit different, different. Um, and just meeting new people every couple of years you can you know you rotate through and it becomes very family orientated and that's what I really like that the whole family atmosphere the defense I've really enjoyed where I've been posted you know as a, as a wife and, and now as a military person and you meet up with people years down the track that you haven't seen for so many years and you meet up with them again and it's like you have you, you, you haven't sort of yeah. pick up where you left off you know, it's great like that. I just love what I do. Yep. And it's so different. As a nurse, I can do recruiting, I can do teaching, I can work on the PCRF, I can yep. work down the hospital. You know, and then you can work out a branch as well if you want to. So that, you know, we're quite versatile, aren't we, dear? Yeah, very diverse. You have to come in with an open mind, but you also are taught a lot of different mm. skills that you wouldn't have um, if you just nursed in a hospital. Although I'm a, a theatre nurse by trade, I'm trained to do a resus work in a resuscitation team, do triage, primary health care, teach, mm. manage, um, all these different things that you, I wouldn't have if I was just a, a nurse in a hospital. We, we do anything and everything when we're needed to. Mm. The challenges that the job offers you are, are not the usual challenges that you find. The honour that you feel when you do those special things like Anzac Day and that, mm. where you're representing not only yourself, but other people who have who have um, been in the defence force. So, I suppose those kind of things are mm. my big things. Yeah, yeah, absolutely. There's a whole different attitude. If you said to a surgeon in a civilian hospital, "We don't have that instrument," a lot of them would get upset or cranky. You say that to a surgeon who's deployed, and he's just okay. What else can I use? You know, we've all got a different attitude. We don't have. Um, everything that we may need but we mm. adapt our practice Absolutely. and um, you know use what we can and everyone's got this sort of motivation to get the job done. Life on board the ship as a nurse um, is busy depending on what what your operational deployment is. Uh, it can be a bit monotonous sometimes you're just waiting waiting for things to happen but then something will happen and you're you're flat out for mm. the next few days so um, yeah, you've got to be ready to go at, at a moment's notice. Mm. And especially as your only person with medical support, you know, you're on call 24 hours a day, so you don't close up shop at the end of you know, your working day, it just happens all the time, and you do get sailors that come to you with issues and problems at some ungodly hour of the day, because they finish at odd hours as well, so then you have to be on call for them. And work's busy, yep. work is very busy, but it's good fun. It is. Hey. Mm.